What if you could regrow a missing tooth, just like a shark? Well, scientists in Japan might have the exact answer to that. And human trials are already being done. So there was a breakthrough discovery involving a protein called the USAG1 protein, and also BMPs, or bone morphogenetic proteins. Now the answers that these scientists find might make things like dentures and implants a thing of the past. Now this has been nothing new, even in dental school and before that, Researchers and scientists have been talking about eventually being able to grow people's teeth, like with stem cells or one thing or another. And even when I was in dental school, we kind of thought that this could possibly be a thing. And if it did happen, what would happen to our jobs? Humans were always thought to just have two sets of teeth, their baby teeth and their adult teeth. But a team of scientists in Japan found that there could be a hidden third set of teeth that's just lying dormant, waiting to be awoken. According to the head of oral surgery at the Medical Research Institute in Osaka, beneath our gums are a hidden dormant set of buds. Now that's kind of confusing, right? Like if we have a hidden set of teeth underneath our gums, why don't we just grow a third set of teeth? Well, it's because they're being inhibited. This comes back to that USAG1 protein. The role of this protein is to control how many teeth an animal or human develops. And it does this by interacting with those BMPs, or those bone morphogenetic proteins. The role of these BMPs is to regulate our organ and bone development. So the reason that we can't grow a third set of teeth is because this USAG1 protein that we have actually inhibits our BMPs. So what scientists want to do is actually eliminate or block this USAG1 so that these BMPs can grow a new set of teeth. And that's exactly what the scientists in Japan did. They developed a monoclonal antibody that's designed to specifically block USAG1 from blocking these BMPs. The good thing about this is it doesn't change your DNA. All it's doing is basically stopping the breaks to grow a third set of teeth. Now this testing has been going on for a while. They've been doing testing on other animals too, like mice and ferrets. Now first they were testing mice that had genetically missing teeth. So they were born with a missing tooth and there was a gap between a couple of their teeth. And when they gave them these antibodies to block this USAG1, they found that these mice grew that third set of teeth right in that missing spot. You wanna make sure you have the right tooth in the right place. For example, if I lose my front tooth here, I don't wanna grow a wisdom tooth in that spot because I'm not gonna to wanna to smile anymore. But luckily when they did these testing on these mice, it turned out really well. They grew the right tooth in the right spot and it had perfect structure. So this was a big breakthrough because mice normally do not grow additional sets of teeth, but in the mice that were injected with these antibodies, they were able to. And then the scientists tested it on ferrets. Now ferrets actually have a dental structure similar to humans, so they were a good next target to study. And they had really similar results to the mice, so everything was really successful again. So then they went on to testing it on humans. So the human trials actually just started in October of 2024, so they're still ongoing, and we're still gonna learn a lot more about it in the years to come, but hopefully this can lead to some promising results. So right now these trials are only focusing on humans that were born with missing teeth. So if you had a cavity or something and it needed to get extracted, those aren't the people that they're studying. They're only studying people that, let's say you were born with a missing incisor or something like that. But if these trials go successful, then they will expand to other areas, like if you did have a cavity and had to get a tooth extracted, or if you fractured a tooth, etc. Now what does this therapy actually look like? How do you put these antibodies to generate these stem cells to grow a tooth? Well, it's literally like it sounds. There's an injection that's done in the jaw right by where that tooth is missing. And then, according to the researchers, after a few months, these tooth buds should start to form. And eventually, it should develop into a fully functioning tooth. Now, if this is true, this could be huge because nothing can replace your God-given teeth. We can have implants, we can have dentures, we can have a bridge. All these things are meant to replace missing teeth, but nothing will replace your actual teeth that you were born with. But what are the problems? I've been saying some really good things, there's gotta be a catch, right? Well, humans are pretty complicated. Just because something works on mice and in ferrets doesn't mean it's gonna work on humans. And we've seen this time and time again with other studies as well. Whether it's different diet trends or different drugs, so many times things work really great on mice, but it just doesn't work that way in humans. Humans are really complex. There's a lot more reactions that are happening in the human body. So just because something works on a different animal doesn't mean it's gonna work on humans. And the other problem right now is 
We cannot guarantee the aesthetics or the location or the direction that these teeth will grow. And just because it worked in mice doesn't mean it's gonna work in humans again. Now researchers say that if a tooth grows in the wrong location, it can be easily moved with orthodontics. Now I don't know if anything is easily moved with orthodontics, but it sounds like these researchers have never done any sort of orthodontics in their life. Because I'll tell you what, if you end up with a molar in your front tooth and you have to move that molar all the way to the back of your mouth, that's gonna be pretty much impossible. Now that being said, I do think it's doable, but it's still a ways away. We're probably gonna have a lot of complications, a lot of problems, and we're gonna have to work out a lot of these kinks before it's a predictable result. The researchers think that we can have this available to the public by 2030. That's in five years. I think that is really ambitious. Now, to be honest, if you're asking me, I can pretty much guarantee you that's not gonna happen by 2030. I think that would be great if it does, and if I'm wrong, then hey, call me out in this video. But I don't think it's gonna happen. But I do think it can happen at some point. I just think five years from now is a little too soon to work out all these kinks. Now, if and when this does end up working out, what could it mean for the future of dentistry? Well, it would be huge there would be essentially no more implants. Why would you wanna get a screw screwed into your mouth when you can just get an injection and then have a brand new tooth grow? And the same thing goes with other artificial replacements. Like if you need a set of dentures, why not get some injections in your mouth and then grow a third brand new set of teeth. If this works, it will absolutely revolutionize dentistry and the way that dentistry is practiced. Now that being said, what about the routine dentistry? Like getting fillings done or getting cleanings? Still think that stuff is gonna be important because just because you have a third set of teeth doesn't mean those are gonna last forever. If you get your second set extracted and then your third set gets a big cavity, now you might end up losing that too. So there's still gonna be the need for regular routine dentistry. I just think this would really change the act of replacing teeth. Now, with all that being said, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that you would try getting this in your mouth or do you wanna wait and kinda of see what these results are looking like? And how do you think it's gonna affect dentistry? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below. And I will see you in the next video. Have you ever grabbed a late night snack and went straight to bed? well, you might wanna think twice about that. Eating before bed can seriously mess with your teeth. And if you brush right after, it can even make it worse. Why is that the case? Well, when you eat, your mouth becomes more acidic. That's normal, that happens every time you eat pretty much. But if you do this at night, there's 